Hi, hello for everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Zarifa and I am from Azerbaijan. Today we will talk about few facts about my country as a Baku local. Azerbaijan was the first democratic state in Islam-oriented countries and also Azerbaijan was the first Muslim country who had theater plays and operas. Azerbaijan is one of the first countries in the world that gave to the women equal political rights with the man. Women gained the rights in 1918 in Azerbaijan and in 1920 in the United States. Azerbaijan population, 80% of them are Muslims. The area of Azerbaijan is 86,600 kilometers and the population is approximately, in Azerbaijan, 10 million people. Azerbaijan has four land bordering countries. They are Iran, Georgia, Russia and Armenia. The language is officially Azerbaijani language and the currency in our country is Manat. When you will visit Azerbaijan, you will see tea everywhere because Azerbaijani people are not interested on coffee and most of them are drinking tea. They drink tea morning, afternoon, evening, before meal, after meal all the time. Azerbaijani people are not adding the sugar inside the tea. Instead of that, we have a small sugar cubes and we put them in our mouth and then we start to drink the tea. So with the hot tea, the sugar in our mouth will start to melt and also Azerbaijani people are serving the tea with a chocolate or a cake or something kind of dessert. Azerbaijan people are adding a sugar inside the tea only in the breakfast. That's it. Rest of the day they never do it. When you will come to Azerbaijan and you visit somebody's house, nobody will offer you, do you want to take a coffee? Everybody will give you definitely tea without asking if you want to drink or not. When you will come to Azerbaijan and you see somebody kissing a bread in the middle of the way, don't be shocked. It is very normal for Azerbaijani people. Because for Azerbaijani, the bread is something very important. And if the bread falls from our hand, we will not just cross by and go. We will take it and kiss it seven or three times and then touch it to our forehead and put it somewhere tall not in the floor and also Azerbaijani people are not putting bread and other garbage in the same place we have a different pocket for that and also in the outside when we go to the public garbage places you will see a breads are separate and the rest of the things are separate this is kind of how we show the respect for the bread as I say, tea is very important in Azerbaijan, even in the marriage. Because when you are going to visit the girl family and asking her from her family to marry, they will serve you a tea during the conversation. Actually, it will come at end of conversation. So what will happen from the taste of the tea, you can understand you are allowed to marry with her or not. Because if the tea is with sugar and sweet, it means she's yours. But if the tea without sugar, it means you should go and come back again. Azerbaijan has approximately 400 mud volcanoes. And when you come to Azerbaijan, you can go so close to them and even you can take a bus inside them. And when you are going to Baku, it is approximately one hour far from the city center. And when you go to that place, from there you should take another driver because the way to the mud volcano is a bit complicated. And it's also kind of fun. If you are coming really, you have to visit that place. And when 
when you go close to the mud volcanoes you can take a bus and it is very good for the skin so some people are coming there and put this mud inside the bottles and bringing them to their home or hotel and taking bus there but my advice is for you as a tour guide in Azerbaijan if you go to there take your swimwear with you and try to take a bus inside the volcanoes it will affect your skin very good if you have been in Azerbaijan you already know but if you didn't come to Azerbaijan before just to let you know I'm telling if you will come to Azerbaijan you will have three kind of things to say first is the Baku is the largest city with the modern and high buildings and it has everything it has a uh, nice restaurants nice shisha cafes clubs walking areas and so on and the second is you will have a historical tour because Azerbaijan has a lot of museums and palace and so many historical places because it is rich with history and the third is the nature because 60 percent of Azerbaijan is covered by mountain and other than this when you leave Baku just after one hour you will see the nature is starting there is a lot of rivers and the lakes and the waterfalls and mountains and it's all covered like a green heaven